How's it going guys? Ryan from Top Tech here today and Tim is showing you guys how to remove any background noise within Audacity. And if you guys don't have Audacity installed, I will go ahead and leave a download link down in the description. So go ahead and click on the download link and download Audacity. And this will remove key clicks, and remove fans, uh, air conditioners, any sort of background noise you want to go ahead and remove. This video will show you guys how to go ahead and remove that noise that is unwanted in your commentary or audio clips. Before we actually get into the tutorial today, I just want to let you guys know I'm going to be uploading three videos every single week now. The schedule is going to be Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And if you guys have any suggestions for videos, you're kind of stuck on something, really don't know what to do, go ahead and leave it down in the comments. I'll make a video on it. But this channel is mostly going to be focused around gaming careers right now. To go ahead and boost your gaming careers, go ahead and bring in more viewers, bring in more subscribers, what settings to use, the best tips and tricks and the hints. So. If you want to become a really good YouTuber, you want to upload top-notch quality, you want to make this your career, same with Twitch, then this is going to be the channel for you. Once this channel does get bigger, and it's growing at a pretty good rate right now, like we've already reached 100 subscribers, and I'll make a separate video on that later on, and we've almost reached 10,000 views on a video already. That's just crazy, and I thank you guys so much for the support. So hopefully you guys are really interested in that content. But once the channel does get bigger, I will upload different things. Like I'll do like reviews on keyboards. I'll give away the keyboards that I review after the video is done. I'll give away computers, a whole bunch of stuff. So make sure you guys subscribe. And if this video does help you out, please go ahead and drop a big thumbs up on it. Now let's get into the actual tutorial. So the very first thing I'm going to go ahead and do is do an audio track. You're probably already going to have your audio track actually here in your whole entire commentary. I'm just going to go ahead and do a test real quick just so I have something here to edit. This is the Audacity Noise Removal Audio Test. I'm just going to go ahead and start hitting my keyboard because there's going to be background noise. That's usually what pops up in people's videos. Go ahead and play this back real quick. Listen to it. This is the Audacity Noise Removal Audio Test. I'm just going to go ahead and start hitting my keyboard because there's going to be background noise. That's usually what pops up in people's videos. So just to let you guys know, when you are doing the noise reduction, you never want to go ahead and select the portion of where you're talking. You always want to do it between a pause or near like the ending when there's like a big huge gap between your talking. So this portion right here is where I'm actually hitting my keyboard. So but go ahead and select the portion that you guys want to go ahead and reduce and or remove. And I say and or remove because if you're on the older version of Dacity, when we go ahead and do this, it's actually going to say noise removal. But on the new version, it says noise reduction. I would recommend getting the newest version. It is going to be in the description, so go ahead and download it. But if you don't want to, that's going to be your choice. There will be a little bit different of settings than the noise reduction to the noise removal. But it's up to you guys which version you're going to want to use. But as many of you guys know now, there is different settings with the noise reduction than there is the noise removal. So... Go ahead and select the portion that mostly pops up in your audio most of the time. So mine is going to be the, the key clicks and the key hitting. So I'm selecting all the keyboard hits. Next, what we're going to go ahead and do is go to effect. We're going to go to noise reduction. Like I said earlier, yours would say noise removal instead if you're on the older version. I would recommend getting the newest version. So I'm going to click on noise reduction and I'm going to do get noise profile. Now what this just did is selected the noise profile just for the highlighted portion. Now what we're going to go ahead and do is click command a or sorry we're going to actually do command a if you're on a mac or control a if you're on windows once you've done that it's going to go ahead and select the whole entire clip we're going to go back to effect we're going to go to noise reduction again and we're going to go ahead and change these settings around here for step two so noise reduction what does this do this if you lower it it's going to make it so you can't hear it at all and this is going to make it so it's even louder I would not recommend going any lower than 6 and not any higher than 15. So I'm actually going to go ahead and just put this on 12. And then I might try it on 6 and I kind of see what the difference is. Never put this under 6 though, because the lower you put it, you're going to kind of notice that it kind of gets distorted anything under 6. So if you put this on like 2 or 0, you're going to notice that your mic kind of sounds like... Or sorry, the audio track now that you've recorded is kind of going to go ahead and sound like a robot. It's going to be distorted, and there's no way you can go ahead and fix that. So let's go ahead and just leave this on 12. The next for sensitivity, we're going to put this on 6. And then the frequency smoothing, we're going to put on 0. And then the noise reduce should already be selected. So just go ahead and leave noise on reduce, which is just OK. Now, if you guys didn't notice that, I'm going to go ahead and undo it. Undo noise reduction. As you guys can see, watch right here. Watch this highlighted portion right here. As you guys can see, once I did the noise reduction, it actually reduced the keys and it made them a lot smaller now in the audio track. So let's go ahead and replay the clip real quick. 
This is the Audacity Noise Removal Audio Test. I'm just going to go ahead and start hitting my keyboard because it's going to be background noise. That's usually what pops up in people's videos. See, as you guys can tell, you can barely even hear me tapping on the keyboard when I'm talking. Let's go ahead and undo the noise reduction. Let's go ahead and play it back once more. This is the Audacity Noise Removal Audio Test. I'm just going to go ahead and start hitting my keyboard because it's going to be background noise. That's usually what pops up in people's videos. Once again, go ahead and do redo noise reduction. Go to the portion where I hit the keys. As you can tell, it's a lot quieter. You can barely even notice it now. And that's really all you have to do. So once again, all you want to go ahead and do is just select the portion you want to remove throughout the whole entire video. So this is where I have my pause. And this is where you can notice all the key hits. So select that portion. Go to effect. Go to noise reduction. Get noise profile. Then press control A or command A. Go back to effect. Click on noise reduction, press OK, and that's all you have to do. Very, very simple. You can do this multiple times, do it much as you want to go ahead and remove a whole bunch of portions. But just to let you guys know, if you ever do it over top of the audio where you're actually talking, it will turn your voice into a robot and you're going to be distorted. So never do it over top of voice, only do it between like little pauses. So hopefully this video helped you out. If you guys have any concerns or any questions about this video, please go let me know down in the comments. I'll be glad to help you guys out and I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace out.